Hello everyone, Drodge here again. Um, today I'm going to do a video on what is called the daily task. Now I already actually completed the daily task, but I'm going to take you a rundown through it and then I'm going to get the reward just to kind of show you and give you an idea of why they're actually useful and why you should really do them as much as possible. Um, especially for like a, an Iron Man account, you really want to do these. Now if you're a regular account, you know, you can trade to get the items and then finish them. Like for instance, if you have to fletch, let's say 336 maple shield bows, that actually is an assignment. Um, you can actually just buy the unstrung shield bows and the bow strings and then finish them and then it counts. But for me, for my assignment today, um, you'll notice my hardcore account is actually significantly lower level than what it used to be. What happened was last night I went to go get a drink, wasn't paying attention, and my character was killed off. And if those of you not familiar with a hardcore uh, Iron Man account for RuneScape, it's a similar si situation as like uh, with a Diablo 3 with their hardcore or any roguelike games where if your character dies, your character dies. Um, RuneScape does give a little bit leniency, primarily I'm guessing because you do have a membership. Um, well, you can get a membership. And so they give a little bit of a leniency if you buy certain items uh, with, you know, your in-game gold at this one store. You can get um, what's called a Jar of Divine Light and it'll knock down your account into a regular Iron Man. This way you get to keep your account, but it's no longer in the hardcore challenge mode. And then also you can get, uh, I believe it's only two extra lives. Um, I forget what the total skill level is for the first one, but that costs 100,000 as well, as the Jar's Divine Light will cost 100,000. And then I believe the second life you can buy actually goes at a skill total of 2,000, and that is for 10 mil. Now I know 10 mil may sound like a lot, and it is for an Iron Man account, especially hardcore, because you know you don't want to take as many risks when you're playing hardcore. But if you always follow the simple steps of always paying attention, don't do risky things whenever your uh, your internet seems glitchy or laggy. You know you don't want to go and fight a big boss monster whenever you're glitching. You're creating a lot of risk for yourself that you really don't need. So as you can see, a lot of my stats are kind of low, which actually will be kind of nice because this will uh, give uh, maybe a little bit more into the videos for a hardcore account. But anyway, uh, regardless of that, that account is dead. So I started a new hardcore account. And for my daily challenge, now if you aren't familiar with RuneScape and if you're getting into this, you'll go down to here, what looks to be your compass. And as you can see, I already completed it, but I didn't turn it in yet. Uh, later on, whenever I have it unlocked, there's uh, something called the Vizwax, which if you can get into the Rune Crafting Guild, you can use the Rune Goldberg machine, which you can use your excess runes, um, make different combinations. Of course, if you have all green, you'll get your most Vizwax, which I think you can get approximately, I think it's 100 Vizwax per day. But if you do get it, um, you can re-roll it, which you just get a different task and a different skill, potentially even the same skill. That's very low chance of that happening. Or you can extend it for 50 Vizwax, and then you'll get double the reward, but you have to do double the work. A uh, certain task it's more worth it than others. This one, if I had the Vizwax, I probably would do it because all I needed to create or craft uh, 12 cracked cooking urns. So that's really not that much. Uh, it doesn't take too long to do. Now I want to go through a little process of showing you what this would actually entail doing. And since I'm at a lower level, I don't have a higher pickaxe. So I'm starting out with bronze. But all we'll do is I'm in the Berthorp slash taverly area go into the little mine right by the furnace 
Uh, if you go in a little bit, this is a spot I really like to go to for it because uh, you got a couple clay here and as you get a better pickaxe these respawn at such a high rate that this is the best spot because you can just go back and forth and by the time you start see the respawn on that was pretty quick now do keep in mind that uh, there is a mining and smithing rework into place it was going to be released I believe next month but they decided to postpone it because uh, uh, Jacket's actually thoroughly tries to listen to their uh, player base as much as possible some people would argue different but as you can see they just postponed a skill rework because of player feedback and they're going to do it until next year but now after you get the clay um, just like with real actual oh, I'm sorry I get newsy but as you do with real pottery uh, the clay is normally not always wet or it dries out very easily but this won't dry out but you also get the, you get the dry product so you have to use it with a well or some sort of water to get the wet material now I could mold it but I'm not going to do that that's for something else that's not something I have to worry about um, and if you are starting out I would actually suggest doing pottery like this over let's say jewelry and other stuff because it's cheaper and it's actually fairly easy to gather yourself and to do but you'll take it over to a spinning wheel or a pottery wheel uh, you have your different categories now I had to make cooking urns so I went into the cooking urn selection um, I am a little bit laggy right now I'm not sure exactly why but okay so what I had to do was I had to make these this is the first step and finishing the product okay so as you can see I got a decent amount of XP especially for a lower level um, but that gives me the unfired product so then I have to use it with the pottery oven it'll automatically highlight it because that's what's in there use it with that and now I have a Cracked cooking urn and R. Now I don't know if this is what the abbreviation means exactly, but I always just consider it as no runes. Because for the special urns like these, you have to use um, runes to get the finished product. This way, you can actually make them. All right, I am. Wow, okay, so RuneScape just completely froze up there for a second. Uh, I'm going to have to re-log. For whatever reason, every now and then, it just it seems like it wants to completely glitch and freeze out, which I really don't understand that. Um, but anyway, okay, we're back in. Okay. Now since I'm just starting out runes are actually not the easiest thing to come by especially for me for fire runes because I actually can't uh, what is called rune craft I can't actually rune craft them so the easiest way is to come over to the rune store which you'll see highlighted there's even a banner there's an icon on your mini map but this one will actually sh you know sell you different runes um, all you gotta do is buy one per thing. Now I already had one, but I bought another because I'm gonna need another again eventually anyway. I'll just select it, use it with this, and it is completed. But now since the assignment is completed, now keep in mind I got all the experience from making these. Now I made more than 12, um, mostly because I wanted to actually keep a few for myself since Figure since I'm making them, why not just keep a few? But you'll want to go to Mr. Sfera if you are not in the Elven City yet. This is where you'll be turning in your tasks, which is right near, right over here is the Birthorp Lodestone. So all you gotta do, turn in your challenges. Now she'll go through a little bit more of a speech for your first challenge. 
But see, you get a bonus amount of XP. See, like right over here, I got 319 XP for turning it in. Now, it doesn't sound like much, but as you can see, that just got me two crafting levels. So for a lower level, that's actually a lot of XP. Um, that's why I say doing these tasks is actually rather important. But not only that, since I actually turned in items, I get a challenge mystery bag, which is usually good items. Um, as you can see, 1.2k. Well, yeah, 1.2k, almost 1.3, and a uncut diamond. Now I can't even craft diamond yet, so I'm just going to stick it in my uh, pouch that I, my bank for where I use for crafting items. Um, yeah, that's about it for that. Uh, there's not really much to those, but they are very useful to do. You will get a good amount of XP, so I recommend getting the XP, getting the items. If you can, try to get the items yourself. This way you're not spending any hard-earned money if you're on a regular account. Alright, well that'll do it for this video. Until next time, later guys!